Hi everybody, Bionic Dance here. So, it may have become apparent to anybody who's been watching me for a while that I have really begun to lose patience with idiots, trolls, and people who argue disingenuously. Not that I ever really suffered fools like that gracefully to begin with, but I've really begun to just have no patience whatsoever. I've only got one nerve left, and if you get on it, I'm going to cut a bitch. That's just what it comes down to. Um, and I had a conversation earlier today on one of my videos, uh, sort of, well, it wasn't exactly about morality. It was about getting along. You know, the, the basic gist of the first, uh, the first salvo, I suppose, the first message was somebody saying, why can't we all just get along? Why can't I have my beliefs? You have your beliefs. And we just go along with our lives having different beliefs. Why can't we do that? And I decided, well, let's just be realistic, shall we? I will mention that there are beliefs that come with dogma. And some of that dogma says, this is how the world should be. This is how people should behave. And if you do not behave this way, you should be made to behave this way. Uh, there are beliefs out there that basically say, if you don't conform to our beliefs, you're a bad person who should be fought in some way, whether with actual violence or just with you know, public coercion or the emotional torment of some kind. I mean, there are belief systems out there where it's built into them that we can't get along. And I said, that's just how it works in the real world. That, that you know, it's great to say, can't we all just get along? But in the real world, that just isn't functionally possible. And apparently using the phrase in the real world was a big honking mistake with this person. Because, uh, well, and I don't know if it was specifically that phrase, but essentially the reply I got back with was, uh, or the, the reply I got back was, oh, so you speak for the whole world now, do you? Seriously? Seriously. You're going to ignore the substance of my argument. You're going to ignore the, the whole example of, well, here are dogmas that, that don't make it possible to just get along. You're going to ignore everything I just said and focus on this one little tiny thing and argue about that because it's a good gotcha to say, nope, you're wrong, I'm right, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know what? I'm sick and tired of that shit. People who argue like that, you don't really get a third chance. You do actually get a second chance. Believe it or not, I said to this person, seriously, that's the way you're going to go? Really? Because here's what I'm actually getting at. I mean, okay, granted, I, I said it a bit angrier than this, but I was basically like, hey, that's not the point. This is the point. Can we focus on the point, you know, I, instead of this, this stupid gotcha game you're playing? And their basic response was to get huffy and snarky, so I blocked their ass. Because I have no more patience for people who can't argue, what is it, genuinely, ingenuously, as opposed to disingenuously, yeah, ingenuously, whatever. The point is, if they cannot argue in good faith, if they cannot actually have a reasonable debate about the topic and take what you say as you intend it, uh, you know, and, and cannot take clarification as clarification. If, if they cannot have an honest back and forth, if it's got to be nye, nye, nye every time, uh, you know, because I don't start out like that unless you do. You know, unless you are basically being aggressive as fuck, I'm not. Really, I'm not. And if you take me that way, you're taking me wrong. That's all there is to it. I don't get aggressive until you are either aggressive or aggressively stupid. That's all there is to it. So, you know, I mean, I actually do genuinely want to have a real back and forth. But if you're going to focus on minutia instead of the meat of my point, if you are going to, <clears throat> to ignore what I'm actually saying, in favor of, of playing these games where it's like, you know, you're basically trying to win internet points rather than actually having a discussion, 
There was a time when I would go several rounds with you before giving up or before flipping out. But, as I say, my patience is almost pretty much gone. So, at this point, if you cannot play fair and play nice, neither can I. So, yeah, don't, don't, don't pull that kind of shit. If you want us to just get along, you're gonna have to do it your own damn self. Because I really do, genuinely do want to have actual back-and-forth conversations about things. You know, I, I would like to reach a kind of resolution, but that's not going to happen if you can't argue honestly. It's not. So, yeah. Um, honestly, I, I, I did want this video to be more about that topic of why can't we just get along while well, dogma gets in the way, but uh, as you can probably tell, this is a bit of a sore point for me these days. Uh, I, I've just had it with people who can't argue as if, or who can't debate rather than argue, which is just, you know, anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, <clears throat> on that topic, though, um, is atheism a dogma? Well, no, I, I'd have to say not. Uh, I mean, as far as most atheists I know who are concerned, atheism is just not believing in a deity. Um... But a lot of atheists, myself included, do tend to kind of behave a little dogmatically about it. I mean, can we just get along? Not actually, really, but that's mostly, I would say, justified. Because the reason we can't just get along is because of the religious dogmas that you know, promote the, the kind of behavior that we consider intolerable. You know, um, like, like homophobia kind of stuff, or, um, you know, these people are bad, we're the only good ones, that kind of thing. If, if religion could behave itself, well, even then, I mean, suppose religion was just all nicey-nice, but then it was still denying science. You know, uh, I mean... Suppose we lost the best scientist ever because they were raised religious and, and their dogma said, no, you don't get to be scientific. Uh, you know, part of me is a little offended at that notion. So I actually do find it difficult to, to tolerate religious indoctrination because, well, I think that would be doing harm, and that is why I actually oppose religion, really, is because I see it doing a lot of harm. And I see it doing harm because of its dogma and its reality denial. And if it didn't do either of those things, I'd be okay with it, but then it'd no longer be religion, would it? So, again, you know, to that question of can't we all just get along, I'd have to say no. And again, because of the harm that other dogmas are doing. So, yeah. Um, anyway, as you can tell, this is a completely unscripted ramble. And uh, I am still cranky about all that other stuff. But, but I think that's, that's part of why I suppose atheism does seem to some people to be like this, this dogmatic... Uh, you know, like, like sort of anti-religion to some people is because we, we as a, a group such as we are, I don't really think we are much of a group. I mean, I, I've often said that uh, the only reason for atheists to gather is in self-defense against religion. And, uh, I'm, you know, as you know, I'm pretty adamantly opposed to atheism plus uh, I, I agree with a lot of what Atheism Plus stands for in principle, just not with atheism as its base. And, you know, uh, I mean, I don't think atheists should gather in that way for that purpose. I, I think that Atheism Plus misses a lot of the point of being an atheist. Uh, so, as I say, atheists, atheism is not really a group exactly, but because of the harm religion does, I, I, I do see that, that atheists have a purpose to gather, and I do think that religion has to be fought because of that harm. So, I don't know, what's to be done about that? Because um, I, I don't like the notion of atheism being seen in that way, being seen as a... Uh, 
you know, sort of an anti-religion or a, a religion negative, you know? I mean, we are really supposed to be kind of neutral. We really are supposed to be, well, we just don't get into the God debate. That's really what we're supposed to be. But, I mean, clearly in some ways we're not if we're active atheists. I don't know. But I don't think that just getting along is possible so long as religion causes harm. And I do see it causing harm. Anyway, until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying, see you later. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. And please visit my Sazzle store, where you'll find all kinds of Bionic Dance merchandise. Every time you rate, an angel loses its wings.